In this lesson, let's learn how to use albums inside of On One Photo Raw. So inside of Photo Raw here, let's first discuss what albums are. Now albums are basically a visual list of files that represent a specific image or a specific group of images that you are commonly dealing with on a regular basis. So for example, inside of Photo Raw here, let's just head over to the albums pane. So your albums live right below your local drives here inside of the Browse tab. And if this particular, this particular section of Photo Raw isn't showing up on your screen, it may just be hidden. So head down to this icon at the bottom left and you can hide or show this area of Photo Raw with these panes and these tabs. So again, to access the albums, I'm just in my Browse tab here and it lives right below my local drives. And with my albums here, I use them to find just general genres of photography and general places that I am constantly looking for when I'm trying to navigate to different images. So for example, I have animals and flowers and Milky Way shots, people, things like that. You could of course use it for particular styles. You know, if you have a bunch of black and white images and then a, bl a bunch of, you know, color graded images and images that are a bit more creatively adjusted. You could add in different albums for that and then you could quickly navigate to those photographs in a pinch. So for example, I'm in my Milky Way album now and it's showing me all of these different Milky Way shots. But let's say I'm looking for my Portland photos and my, my favorites that I've captured in Portland. Well, I can just head over to my albums here and I'll select Portland. And this has navigated me to all of these different images that I've added into my Portland album so that I can easily find them and just navigate them, navigate to them in a pinch. Now keep in mind that with albums, these images can live wherever you want them to live. They can live on your computer's hard drive, they can live on an SD card, they can live on an external hard drive. Wherever they live, you can quickly find them inside of Photo Raw but keep in mind that that external hard drive or SD card or wherever those photos live has to be plugged into your computer. So for example, if these Portland images lived on an external hard drive and I had that plugged in, I can view them within the album. But if I were to eject that hard drive that they lived on, these images would be invisible and I wouldn't be able to find them within that particular album. So to create a new album, it's really easy and there's a couple of different ways that you can do it. One of my favorite ways is to select a group of images or an image that I want to create a new album with and then I can easily just add those images into my new album. So let's first select a group of photographs that we want to create a new album with. I'll just select these images of these cars here. And I'll head over here to the albums pane I'll choose this plus icon and with this new album dialog, I can enter a name for my new album. I'll just name it automobiles. And because I've selected images beforehand, I can enable this add selected items option. And if I choose okay, that will create that automobiles album there. If I select that, it takes me to that group of images. And for example, let's say I navigate away from this album. I'll just navigate to a different album, that Portland album there. Well, because I've created that new automobiles album, if I want to find those three particular photographs that I added in there, I can just head over to the automobiles album. And there they are. Another way that you can create an album and add photos into it is simply by dragging and dropping. So let's create a new album and let's name it travel. I'll head up to my albums pane. I'll create a new album here and again, we'll just name it travel. Now I haven't selected any items here, so I'm not going to enable that add selected items option. I'm just going to choose okay to create that travel album. And with that travel album created there to bring in images to our new album, all we have to do is select them. I'll grab some of these sort of travel themed photos here and I can just drag and drop them into 
that particular album that I just created. So now if I select that album there, there's those travel images that I just placed into that particular album. So let's navigate back to that set of images there. So another way to bring in images into an existing album is to select them and then right click and then you can scroll down to add to album. And then you have all of these different albums that you've created. To add them in, all we have to do is just select it. We can also use copying and pasting to copy specific images and then place them into an album. So I've navigated to a group of food photographs here, and I know that some of these aren't actually in my food and drink album. So to place them in there, I'm just going to select those images that I want to bring into there. Let's grab a few of these shots there. And I'm going to copy them by holding down Command and C. Now you can also go up to your top bar, choose Edit, and then Copy. So I've copied those images. I'll just navigate to my food and drink album there. And I'm going to paste those images directly into there. And there we go. If I navigate away from those particular images, I can quickly go to my food and drink album. And there's those images that I've placed inside there. So one last way that I wanted to mention to bring in images into an existing album is to use your computer's navigator or finder. So I'm just, I'm on a Mac, so I'm on my computer's finder here, and I've just navigated to some bird images. I can grab those images and I can drag them over to Photo Raw, and I can drag them directly into the album that I want to add them into. So for example, I want them in the birds album here. I'll just hover over birds. If I select birds now, there's those two photographs that I dragged and dropped into that album there. Now, another way that you can view your albums, and this may be easier for dragging and dropping, especially if you're using your computer's finder or navigator, but you can head over to the shortcut well over here and we'll select this icon and this will open up all of the different albums and their thumbnail views so that we can quickly find a group of photographs that way or just like I showed if we need to drag and drop we can easily drag and drop oops let me select them here we can easily drag ah, drag these images and then we can drop them into specific albums this way. So just another way to access the albums. Again, it's just over here in your shortcut well, and it's just this icon there, the albums icon. Now what I love about this album view is that you can actually access and customize. <clears throat> and another thing that I love about the thumbnail view is that we can change the thumbnail preview within the albums. So for example, let's go into the Waterfalls album here, and let's say we want a different one of these images to be the thumbnail preview. All we have to do is right click that photograph and we'll choose Set Album Preview. So if I choose that, I'll head back to my album view or my thumbnail album view there. And you can see it's changed that Waterfall thumbnail preview. Let's do it for the real estate one. We'll grab a bit more of an interesting photograph here. We'll grab this one. We'll right click set album preview. So if I head back, it's now a different thumbnail preview than it was before. It's a really handy way to update your existing album. If you've added in new images or you just want a fresh new thumbnail preview. Another way you can adjust your albums is you can head over to the actual list here and we can right click an album and we can give it a specific color. So for example, with Milky Ways, I'm going to give it a nice purple color. And then for flowers, we'll maybe use, you know, a nice yellow 
and sort of so on and so forth. And you can use these as a nice visual representation to just sort of easily head over here and find those groups of images within your albums pane. You may have noticed that in the albums pane here, some of the albums have this icon next to them. This icon is indicating that the album is published to On One Cloud Sync. And what On One Cloud Sync does is it allows you to view and modify the images within this album on any of the other devices that you have connected to Cloud Sync. So for example, in my real estate album here, I have this published to Cloud Sync. And with these photographs, I can view and modify them on my desktop computer, my mobile phone, and any of the other devices that I have on one Cloud Sync connected to. So with Cloud Sync, let's create an album and we'll publish it to Cloud Sync. I'll just navigate to a group of images here. And so within this folder, I have these restaurant interiors that I really like. And I don't have an album created specifically for that yet. So let's create a new album. I'll just select those images. I'll head over to my albums pane. I'll choose that plus icon. Let's just rename this restaurant interiors. And because I have these images selected, I'm going to enable that add selected items option. And below that, we have this publish to Cloud Sync option that we need to enable as well. With our publish to Cloud Sync here, we have this menu that we can modify to either upload an editable preview of the images that we have, or it will upload the originals. So if you're working with raw files and you want those raw images to be published, you can choose originals. I'm just working with JPEGs here, so I'm just going to choose editable preview. We'll just go ahead and choose OK there. It will then create that album and it will publish it to On One Cloud Sync. That way, with these restaurant interiors, I can view this album on any of my devices and I can quickly modify them or fine tune them if I need to. So, with Cloud Sync here, you can also right click the album that you have published and you can choose to unpublish it from Cloud Sync, or you can modify the sync options here. So if you want to publish those original files after all, you can just choose that and then it will update that album. You also may have noticed that there's arrows next to some of these albums that you can use to create an album hierarchy or a nested album. So to create a nested album here, it's really easy to do. All we have to do is drag a particular album inside of another one. So for example, let's say we want our Milky Way album to be nested inside of our landscapes. I'll just click and drag that Milky Way album on top of my landscapes. You can see it sort of highlights that landscape album there. And I'll just drop that. And now I have a nested album with my Milky Way album inside of my landscapes there. So I'll just drag my seascapes into my landscapes, and we'll also do the same thing for waterfalls. We can also nest albums within existing nested albums. So for example, you can see here if I roll open my landscapes, I just have three albums within my landscapes. But let's say we want to place an album inside of one of these. We can easily do that. So let's just for example, grab this motion blur album and we'll drag it inside of our waterfalls. Now we have this nested waterfalls and motion blur album here within our landscapes. Now for any reason, if you need to bring that album back out of the nested album and into the top of the stack again, just right click the album and choose move to top. Right click, move to top. And that is going to take the album out of that nest and it's going to bring it to the top of the stack again.
But remember, to nest an album, just drag that album into a particular album and you can easily nest it that way. And then to pull it out of that nest and bring it to the top, it's just right click and then move to top. And one thing to keep in mind with nested albums is you can't actually publish nested albums. So with these nested albums that are already created, if I right click, I don't actually have that option to publish. And then if I drag and drop, I can't drag albums into existing published albums and I can't drag published albums into any nested albums. So just something to keep in mind, if you have the album published, you can't actually create a nested album with it. So that was all I had for using albums inside of Photo Raw. I hope you learned a little bit about albums and how you can instantly find your photographs with them. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next lesson.